Hi guys, welcome to a new video. This video is for my mature baddies. If you're in the fabulous ages of 50s and 60s, this video is for you because I feel like I'm talking to my mom right now, my aunts, and I'm helping them out with their skincare. And I'm sure older me also would be thankful for this video when I get to these beautiful ages where you're blessed with so much wisdom, so much wealth, and I'm not speaking about money, which that can be a plus, I can be a rich auntie, but definitely just so much more wholesomeness as an individual. If you're in that category, this video is for you. I'm gonna recommend a ton of products, sunscreens, moisturizers, serums, all the good things so if all that sounds good to you make sure to like this video subscribe and let's hop right in you know what's crazy i thought i've made a video like this on my channel and i was thinking oh my gosh i've literally never really covered like anti-aging for my mature bodies i don't have a huge percentage of people who are in those ages that follow me a lot of my audience is largely around my age which is from 25 to like 30s but i do have a little chunk of an audience around this age so i thought it'd be great to have a video dedicated to my audience that is in that age range now in your 50s and definitely in your 60s you want to prioritize hydration super important because of your skin barrier that collagen level has dropped your elasticity has dropped so you have to make sure you are enforcing hydration in your skin routine. You want to make sure you're protecting that skin from the sun. Make sure you're using SPF of at least 30. Anti-aging ingredients like retinoids, peptides, and antioxidants to combat dryness, fine lines, and loss of firmness. You want to use a gentle hydrating cleanser to avoid stripping your skin's natural oils and incorporate nourishing moisturizers and eye creams for added repair and protection. Gentle exfoliation once or twice a week can improve skin's texture, but definitely avoid overdoing it because your irritation is going to be irritating if you do it more than that. But very importantly, I want you to know that skincare can only do so much. You want to make sure you're regularly scheduling a consultation with your dermatologist and they, with their medical knowledge, can help tailor your routine to your specific skin needs. My mom is about to enter her 60s and I've noticed a huge drop in her elastin and collagen levels. Her skin doesn't bounce back quite as quickly as it used to when she was younger, but that's why I'm here. I'm here to offer you skincare advice with my scientific knowledge to hopefully help tackle and stay ahead of these skin changes. I'm going to do a morning routine and nighttime routine and a weekly routine to make sure to really cover all angles in this beautiful decade. For morning routine, choose a gentle hydrating cleanser because it cleanses without stripping your skin's natural oils. CeraVe's hydrating cleanser or La Roche-Posay's Tolerine hydrating cleanser are both good options. For toner, you want an alcohol-free, non-drying hydrating toner. It will balance your skin's pH and provide additional hydration. Paula's Choice Enriched Calming Toner or Claire's Supple Preparation on Scented Toner. There's no fragrance, so you might prefer this if you don't like fragrance. For serums, choose an antioxidant rich serum with vitamin C. It'll help brighten your skin, reduce dark spots, and fight free radicals from photo damage. Great options are Skin SkinCeuticals Ferulic or Timeless Ferulic Serum for a more budget-friendly option. For eye cream, choose a hydrating anti-aging eye cream. It'll help target fine lines, puffiness, and dark circles. Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Eye Gel Cream is a great option. My mom also loves the one from Glue Recipe. For moisturizer, choose a rich hydrating moisturizer with peptides to increase its collagen levels and elasticity. Plus, hyaluronic acid wouldn't hurt. This will really help keep the skin hydrated and improve elasticity. CeraVe's Moisturizing Cream or Olay Regenerous Microscopic Cream are both great options. For sunscreen, make sure you're using a broad spectrum sunscreen that covers both UVA and UVB SPF 30 or higher. This will help prevent UV damage and prevent further signs of skin aging. Alta MD's SPF 46, all Neutrogena's Ultra Share SPF 55, great options. Now for your evening routine, for cleanser and toner, you can use the same thing from your morning routine. For serum, choose a retinol or retinaldehyde serum, or even a tretinoin prescription-based retinoid. Really just depends on what your skin can handle or tolerate. This will help stimulate collagen production and smooth out fine lines. Rock Retinol Deep Correction Night Cream is a great one. All the ordinary 0.5% retinol in spoiling. You can use the same eye cream like in the morning. For moisturizer at night, make sure you're using a rich hydrating cream with ingredients like peptides or ceramides to help repair your skin barrier and overnight hydration. CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream or Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Night Press Serum. Optionally, you can also use overnight masks or a treatment like an LED mask. Again, it'll help provide an extra boost of hydration and nourishment. Laneige makes a really great water sleeping mask. Also, Dr. Jart's Tiger Grass is a great option. Now, weekly, there are some things you might want to incorporate in your routine as well. Make sure you're exfoliating one to two times a week. This will help remove any dead skin cells and encourage skin cell turnover. Polish Choice BHA Exfoliants or Tatcha Rise Polish are great classic examples. Things like face masks are also really great. Choose a hydrating or firming mask to help provide deep treatment and to address specific concerns 
concerns. Like the Fresh Rose face mask. If you can handle this one, the Ordinary is 30% 2% BHAs. Not for the week, but if you can handle it, this is a great mask. Just use it very sparingly. Honestly, even bi-weekly or once a month, as long as you're incorporating a deep treatment is all that matters. Some extra tips to close out here or make sure you're staying hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. For your diet, make sure you're eating a well-balanced diet. Incorporate omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, and vitamins into your diet. Avoid or cut down smoking and alcohol. Regular dermatologist visits are super imperative. And supplements can also help. I'm starting to get into supplements now. So if you have any great supplement recommendations, please comment below. And just always remember to continue to adjust your routine depending on how your skin is acting. It's always a great idea to patch test new products and continue to run your routine with your dermatologist. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe it. That's how it reaches more people who are looking for these types of videos to help with their skin routines, especially as they've gotten older. I know there's not a ton of videos like really zooming into this specific age and decade, but a lot of people are looking for products. My mom is always texting me about products and I'm more than happy to share my recommendations. So sharing this video or liking and commenting, just engaging in this video will really go a long way with that. Check out the videos at the end of this video. Join the family. We're always welcoming new members. I love seeing new people in our family. It really brings great joy to me that more and more people are really starting to care deeper about their skin. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.